taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video, guys. So, Pepe is just not stopping. Pepe is just going to the moon. Um, it's almost a billion market cap at the time of recording this video. It's currently seeing about 806 million market cap, which is absolutely crazy, guys. When I bought Pepe, I think it was around 100, uh, 100, maybe 200 something market cap. I can't actually remember. All right, guys. But when I talked about it on video, we got our entry down in this uh, symmetrical triangle way down here. And it's just been going absolutely nuts ever since. So uh, congratulations if you got in on Pepe. Do I think it's over? I believe that this could run a lot more. Um, if this surpasses a billion, you know, there's no reason why it, you know, potentially won't just start going crazy even after that. We've seen it before in the past with things like Shiba Inu. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is just going absolutely crazy. So this reaching a billion market cap makes it like a blue chip. Okay, so this is a blue chip crypto. Okay, guys. And... Um, you know, the liquidity is another story. Liquidity is another story. I want to talk to you about another blue chip, or which, you know, let's say it's a blue chip. <laughs> you'll you'll get what? Well, you'll get the reason why um, when I get into it. But um, Pepe, uh, the liquidity, the, I mean, I've just got on coin market cap, and I can see this right here. So, although Pepe claims that its entire total supply is circulating, there are signs that certain insiders or team members were able to buy 7% of the total supply minutes after token generation event in what was purportedly a fair launch, quote fair launch. In view of this, the burden of proof is on the Pepe team to demonstrate that its entire supply is indeed circulating. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just crazy, guys. It's crazy that, um, you know, uh, people don't really care about this, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen. Somebody actually turned $24 into $4.2 million. Absolutely crazy, guys. In Pepe. And that's getting in from the beginning. But this person doesn't seem to have sold. They haven't sold. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, ultimately, you know, it could be a team member. The people buying in from the beginning are raking it in. Raking it in, guys. And, um, you know, it's super risky to buy. But uh, is it worth taking a risk? That is the question. I want to talk to you about another token that we be buying in my Telegram group. If you come and join us, guys. Right, if you come and join us. So this is a coin called Cookies. It's being shilled by a bunch of influencers at the moment as well. And um, yeah, this is a super low cap uh, token. Of course, it's capitalizing on the meme coins. Uh, if we look at the chart. Okay, so I bought this from the beginning uh, yesterday. Okay, if we just zoom out. I bought this down here. I've just been holding it ever since. It came down, went back up again, and now it's coming back down again. So there's an opportunity. There was an opportunity to buy it here, an opportunity to buy it there, and now it looks like there's an opportunity to buy it here. And um, you know, I just think more videos are going to be coming out on this project. So I'm just holding it and seeing where it might go. Okay, this is actually created by the Burn Swap team, and this is going to be available on Burn Swap as well. And just like I said earlier in the video, there may be another blue chip. And because this is called blue chips, the tokens are called cookies. And this is called blue chips. All right, guys. So I got you there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's meme coin season. This one has a huge supply of 400 trillion tokens. 400 trillion tokens. Um, so yeah, you're going to be able to get millions of tokens for a very small amount. Uh, the question is, will this turn into something or will this just become nothing? Uh, the truth of the matter is, um, you should never be risking more than what you could afford to lose, okay? But, um, you know, you could put something small in this potentially. It's not financial advice. You could put something small in. And if it turns out to be something, it turns out to be something. And if it goes to zero, then you lose only something small. Okay, guys? You put in $10, you lose $10. You put in $100, you lose $10. Uh, $100 if it goes to zero. If it goes 1,000x, you make, you know... How much? I don't know. What's that? 100,000? So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the link in the description. It's just a very quick video. Okay, guys. I wanted to get out for you this morning. And Wojak is another one um, that we bought. Where did I buy Wojak? Um, I can't remember. Might have been over here. Okay, but um, yeah, Wojak is still trending upwards. Um, 
It is Friday. We are approaching the weekend. So these coins could well come down. We don't know. But um, yeah, ultimately, I think the strategy is on these kind of coins is buy and hold. Um, if we get a dip, I'm looking to get maybe get some more World Jack. Um, if it comes back down to this trend line, that would be a good place to potentially buy some World Jack. Uh, but yeah, remember, none of this is financial advice. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. That being said, it's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, tip the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.